All right. So I remember the year that Steph Curry won his second MVP uh, award, right? And leading into the finals, I remember, I guess, I guess they asked LeBron a question about, you know, the, 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 the MVP or whatever. And I, I think he said along the lines of um, the, the difference between being an MVP and being the most valuable player. Because he said it's, it's not the same. And I, I kind of find that to be true, right? Because I see that Jokic is right now is number one in terms of, you know, the MVP race or whatever. And we can say, because, and I will agree, because MB got hurt, J, LeBron James got hurt, James Harden, KD, all them guys is hurt. So, yes, Jokic is number one. So, if Jokic is number one, and he's, a, he's the fourth seed, then where would Chris Paul land in the MVP list if his, if his team has more wins? Because I'm telling you this, the Suns hasn't been relevant in the last four or five years. We, we'll say a year before Devin Booker got there, or we can say ever since ever since Steve Nash left. Steve Nash ain't been there. Devin Booker, you know, hasn't been the most popular player only because he's been on a bad team, but he's been so good that he's made them relevant, we can say. But it ain't because of the team, because of him. Chris Paul gets there. And first year he's there, they're one game behind first place in the West. And we and we gotta say this, right? Chris Paul played in OKC the, his first and only year last year. And when we all and when everybody thought that the odds was stacked against him, when we all thought that that's a rebuilding team, that team ends up being the fifth seed in the playoffs, losing in Game Seven of the first round against the Rockets with James Harden and Russell Westbrook. They take that team to a game seven. And guess what? They almost pulled it out in the end. They almost pulled it out in the end. And I, Chris Paul adds value to wherever he goes. If it's New Orleans, if it's the LA Clippers, if it was Houston, I, I like, me, in my heart, I honestly believe that if Chris Paul did not get hurt for Game 6 and Game 7 in Houston his first year, they would have went to the finals. They would have beat Golden State with KD on it. With KD on it, they would have beat them. Because that's how valuable Chris, Chris, Paul, uh, Chris Paul was then. And for him to be 34... 35, 6 feet, and for him to still be this valuable to a team, it's hard for me to believe that he doesn't get at least a few first place votes. I think he's that valuable. Regardless if his, if his numbers don't reflect that. Because let's be honest, I think Steve Nash should have won one MVP. His second one that he stole from Shaquille O'Neal? Do we think that Steve Nash was more valuable than Shaquille O'Neal? Who knows? Me personally, I say no. But they gave it to Steve Nash. So I'm trying to figure out because Jokic hasn't missed a game and he's keeping them relevant. Without Jamal Murray, does that still make him more valuable? I mean, we can say that he's the point. 
he's the point center of the team because he he I think top ten, top fifteen in assists. As a as a center. I think I think that's super dope because he can't he can't jump for what what's the lick. But that boy Jokic can play ball. So if the numbers if the numbers matter, then where does Giannis rank? Because as much as, as much as I want to say that Julius Randle deserves some MVP consideration, I can't say that he he needs that over Giannis because Giannis has a better record than Julius Randle and he has better numbers. He averages more points. He averages more rebounds. So he, Julius Randle is just a better shooter. So I can't really... I'm not going to put Julius Randle over Giannis, but Chris Paul, where, I, I just want to know where does Chris Paul rank in terms of MVP placing. Granted, barring all the injuries that happened, Chris Paul got to have a vote in there somewhere. I don't know, I, I don't know how much more consideration he deserved. Who knows? If MB deserves consideration after him being out for so long. Who knows, but that's all I gotta say, man. The NBA voters who, who voting for MVP, they gotta keep that in mind. That's all I'm saying. Jake Chris Paul, he needs some consideration for MVP.